Turning to this update now, CMPD is releasing new information about yesterday's deadly fire in Uptown. WCNC Charlotte has obtained a police report confirming the body found in one of the homes impacted was that of a 69 year old woman. Yeah, her remains were found after that fire ripped through a condominium building in the city's fourth ward. That is where we find WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal, who has more details from that report. Jane. And Fred, that report also initially said that they uh, assigned an arson unit to initially investigate the fire, but later deemed it as accidental. And Charlotte Fire just posting on Twitter in the last few minutes that 12 condo units altogether were affected. 60 firefighters in total were able to control it in about an hour. But you can see all of this damage that's left today. Also today, residents who had to evacuate returning to the neighborhood still in a state of shock. A neighbor capturing this video shows the flames bright and orange Tuesday afternoon around 1.30. Parker, who didn't want to go on camera, saw it all unfold. Got my phone and called 911, and by the time I got off the phone, maybe 30 seconds, a minute later, the whole left side of the porch and um, that apartment was uh, in flames. Another neighbor, Jack Cottom, was more directly affected. It was definitely pretty chaotic, but uh, because the front uh, portion of the, the building burned out and they weren't able to access the stairs. They actually had to go in through my unit and go in through the wall to contain the fire. Um, there's a shared wall, so they busted a hole through there and took the hose up and then fought the fire that way. He says he also knew the woman who died in the fire. Earlier in the day, I, we had ran, uh, I'd seen her in passing, but yeah, we, uh, she was someone that I would see and you know, frequently just to kind of have small talk with. She was a, a kind person. He says he was lucky to escape with his dogs. Returning 24 hours later, he says it all feels surreal. I've been checking you guys like every 15 minutes because I'm like, why did this happen? So, you know, I, I kind of want to understand what was it that was, what was it that was the cause of the fire? That way, hopefully we can do something to prevent it in the future if it's possible. Another homeowner who lived on the ground floor told us she took off when she saw the flames start to get into her home. She wasn't able to take her cat with her, but thankfully her pet was found safe today. We're live in Uptown. Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Jane, thank you.